Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hollow Week. Today is gonna be a little bit different because it's not necessarily scary themed, but it is a sort of Halloween-y topic. Today's Hollow Week special is Top 10 Albums for Fall, or Autumn. I love fall, it's my favorite month. I like the weather, the colors, of course Halloween, and I'm sure a lot of you enjoy it too. But anyways, here's some albums that I believe fit the fall aesthetic perfectly. So grab a warm blanket, a cozy sweater, and a pumpkin spice flavored food or beverage. I took my shirt off in the yard. At number 10, we have The Glow Part 2 by The Microphones. Now this album is not only a great fall album, but this is just a brilliant album in general. In fact, you can say that for almost all of the albums on this list, but I gotta tell you, there is really something special about this thing. It's kind of like a noisy folk album. Like, it blends folk and noise rock very well, and the production on it is so clear. And the performances aren't perfect, but I think that's what makes it perfect. This album's imperfections are probably its biggest strengths. But anyway, the reason why this is a great fall album is just the atmosphere it gives. Very folky, very acoustic-y, very warm, and the serenity just screams fall to me. Although I do gotta warn you, some parts are the complete opposite of serene. Just give me one more smile, cause I'm still here. At number nine, we have Satan Sex and No Regrets by Harley Poe. Now, I don't want to talk too much about this album because I'm doing a Harley Poe worst to best later on this week, on Halloween actually, to be exact. Although, all I gotta say here is that the warm acoustic instrumentation on this thing, as well as Joe's vocals, are very, very autumn y and very, very Halloween y as well. So, yeah, this is definitely one to listen to for the season. <laughs> At number eight, we have Funeral by Arcade Fire, one of the best albums of the 2000s. This thing is a great blend of folk and art rock and orchestral rock. I think the raw indie sound mixed with the strings really gives off a good fall vibe. Even the artwork for this thing feels kind of folly in a way. So long, Frank Lloyd Wright. At number seven, we have Bridge Over Troubled Water by Simon and Garfunkel. It was actually pretty hard to choose which Simon and Garfunkel album I should use for this list. Although I think Bridge Over Troubled Water probably stands out the most in terms of fall sounds, especially songs like So Long, Frank Lloyd Wright, Song for the Asking. The other cuts on here are pretty folly too. I just think those two stand out the most. But yeah, it's just another good acoustic-y, folky, fall-y album. <laughs> Definitely give this one a listen. Cheer up, honey, I hope you can. At number six, we have Yankee Hotel Foxtrot by Wilco. This one kind of blends acoustic rock with some progressive rock elements, but the warm production and the performances, the vocals, the instrumentation, everything, again, gives off a great fall vibe. Some songs that are extra folly on here are the intro song I Am Trying to Break Your Heart, the song Radio Cure, Jesus Etc, as well as some other cuts on here. Give this one a listen as well. You got to be crazy. You gotta have a real need. At number five we have Animals by Pink Floyd. Now this one's surprising because there really isn't anything that's remotely fall themed about this thing, but I do think this album actually does sound better in the fall. Something about the acoustic major seventh chords in the song Dogs really sounds good in an autumn atmosphere. It's hard to pinpoint what elements of this album really scream autumn to me, but just go for a walk in some fall foliage while listening to this album and you'll know what I mean. Love is real. At number four, we have Plastic Ono Band by John Lennon. I feel like this album can actually go both ways between fall and summer, but to me, it's more of a fall album. It's another very chill album to listen to for the most part. I think the piano is what sticks out the most as the most 
fall-ish element of this thing. But yeah, it's just a very raw album, very chill. It's a good album to just sit by an open window, let the breeze come through, and just relax and think about things and enjoy the fall air. When she thought of summer rain Calling for at number three, we have Five Leaves Left by Nick Drake. It would be hard to pinpoint which songs on this thing really stand out as the most autumn-y because the whole thing really is. It's full of these very dark and warm sounding acoustic guitars and upright basses, very laid back vocals. It's just very fall-esque with its delivery. But I think the fall-ish element that stands out the most on this album is the string work. I think the string orchestrations just really scream fall to me. And I mean, the album is called Five Leaves Left, so I mean. Ten minute dream in the passenger seat while the world was flying by. At number two, we have I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning by Bright Eyes. Now, most of the Bright Eyes discography actually sounds pretty folly, but I think this one definitely takes the cake. Every song is very watered down. Connor's haunting vocals on top of the acoustic guitar and the upright bass and whatever else is there just really, it just really gives you a really warm fall feeling. I mean, straight from the intro narration, you just get the sense of fall. I think the track that is the most fall-esque is probably Lua, but most of it still has that sound. If not all of it. You know what, actually no, forget most of it. It's the whole thing. I wanna live, I wanna kill, I've been a miner for a heart of gold. And at our number one spot, we have Harvest by Neil Young. I mean, Harvest literally, I mean, it, it, it pretty much is fall. Just the artwork on this thing, the production, the instrumentation, everything screams fall about it. This is one of my favorite produced albums of all time just for the warm tone to it. I mean, three songs on this album were actually recorded in a barn. I mean, if that doesn't scream fall, then I don't know what does. This thing's just very acoustic-y. I love the bass. The bass sounds incredible. It has a kind of a country tone to it, but not the bad country. Just give this thing a listen if you haven't already. I'm sure you've at least heard one song from it. Probably, maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, I guarantee you this this album will definitely get you in the fall mood as it's my number one spot. All right, so this one was pretty short, which is not surprising as there wasn't really too much to talk about. But yeah, um, be on the lookout for the next couple days when Hollow Week continues. And oh boy, it's gonna get real spooky. All right, and I'll see you all tomorrow night.